All right, guys, quick video on how to change the Chrysler 300C slash S grill. So I'm going out with the old, in with the new. All right, first what you wanna do is, you have these little pins. I've left one in just to show you how to take it out. You're gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So these, all you gotta do is get a little flathead screwdriver under there, pry it open, and then she'll just be able to pull out. What I do is, for my front, I keep them there. My left side, keep them there. Right side, keep them there. All right, and for so same goes for near the wheel. So you're gonna have one, two, three, then you're gonna have a little 10 mil inside there. Once that's off, what you're gonna do is just pull it out gently, of course, and then you're gonna have your connectors. And I'll show you guys after I pulled it out what to do next. So after all these bolts and plastic pins are removed, in Australia, we have these little weather strips. I've seen a couple of American videos, but they don't have them. But these are easy, just simply pull out here, and that's out. Pull out, out, pull out, just along the whole bumper. And try not to rip it. So, that's that. You don't even take it off, just take what's here. Just take the bit that's on the bumper off. So it's just getting pretty loose now. And, okay, so what I forgot to mention to you guys was, under here, you're gonna have one, where are we? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You're gonna have eight um, little bolts here holding as well. So I'm gonna have to, um, what I'm gonna have to do is get a size and take a video of me taking these off for you. These bolts off just to show you. The size is a size seven. Pretty easy one. That's all you gotta do. Make it loose in the bumper. And as you can see, it's already loose. Just do that for all all eight. And I get back to you. All right, guys, so after you remove all eight of these bolts here, I'll do this last one in front of you just to show you what, how it's gonna go. Then you can pretty much just rip, not rip your bumper off, but pull it off slowly. So the size again is a seven. Once it's loose enough, you can do it with your hands as I was um, doing for the other seven. See if it's loose enough. Nope. It is pretty straightforward. It's just a little bit time consuming and it's, it's a one man job. You don't need anyone else really. Just a bit hard to turn still because there's a bit of rocks and what else in there. So nearly there. There we go, should be right now. Still, well, save the hardest one for last, eh? Should be right now. There we go. All right. Once all this off, you'll see, um, you can just, there's clips slide them to there you can easily pop it out um i'll show you on video how to do that properly once i get the bolts on the other side for the wheel wheel out ah, how's that some new damage I haven't seen that before all right guys so here's the current progress all the bolt tools in there all you need and a screwdriver okay here's the scary part here's what everyone hates you got to rip this out and then this is going to drop it's a one-man job, but, you know, two man's better. I'm gonna try to do this as nice as I can. So you just pull it. Everyone hates this. You feel like you're gonna break it, but don't worry, you're not. There we go. All right, and then, slowly, Drop the bumper. So you're gonna have all your sensors, get a whole lot of stuff to disconnect here. A whole lot of stuff. So you're not gonna need to disconnect all of that. All you really need to disconnect is just the little hose for your headlight washers. And that's your, um, that little box right here. And that's gonna let your, bump, your bumper drop onto its front. Make sure you have a blanket 
because you don't want it scratching on the, you know, hard surfaces. All right, so you've made it this far. There's no turning back. Once the bumper is off the car, you got one, two Phillip head screws. And you just got clip, 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 clip all the way around. And then you just push now it through. fairly easy to actually pop out. One hand on the actual grill. If I can record this, put that finger right about there and push that down and push the grill. And then that's out and they're all out. So all these nice to do. All right, guys, and it's that easy. As you've seen, the before and after, this definitely looks a lot better than what it used to look. Um, I'd recommend it for any Chrysler owner. Very quick, very easy. Um, yeah, I'd say go for it. Here's a quick overall video of my Chrysler. So, here's my carbon fiber wrap mirrors, tinted front, 15, tinted back is a five. I've got the fake antenna going on there. It's 15 at the back. Tinted tail lights, as you can see. Uh, I ordered this off Mopar.com. You can see that I didn't tint that. Got the tinted, sorry, got the blacked out Chrysler emblem. And um, yeah, so blue calipers, which uh, everyone loves. I did have tire riding for a little while to let come off, but yeah, very 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 fun car to mod and have some fun with haven't sprayed that on blue yet so yeah so with the 300s if somebody didn't know it actually has the body kit of a uh, srt so it's got the wing and the all these little extras well, i got the luxury 300s which i was um, lucky to get you know not many of them have the double thin sunroof also got these blacked out 300s has no chrome not one little bit of chrome Except for around the window trims, which I blacked out already. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed.